Hello, good morning everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, another video uh, with me and Keely. Today we have decided to come out, take a drive and we've ended up at this wonderful drop there gorgeous church. Uh, just to let you know where we are today, we're in the historical town of Alford in Lincolnshire. Keely will just show you, there's the town across the road. Uh, it's a lovely little town, it's an absolutely beautiful place to walk around. Uh, what better way to get out the rain than come to Alford? We're going to check out this wonderful church today and um, we're going to take a quick walk down there into the town centre, have a quick look at round. Uh, we have done this once before, sometime last year. So today is Sunday, and why not? We did cars yesterday, uh, of course, at uh, Aberstow and then also down on uh, Claypot Seafront with Dave Cave, uh, obviously, with his uh, little lights all going. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get on and we're going to get inside, we're going to take a look around and we're going to see how beautiful this absolutely drop there, gorgeous, wonderful church is. So right, let's get it on and let's go. You don't pause in. Are you coming? So, what makes this church a bit different is this doorway. We noticed this before. How different this doorway really is. Now be careful, there is a step, which you do have to climb over the step and we're going to show you exactly how beautiful this church is I'll just lift to open and I will take straight over now uh, Keely my camera girl today um, is helping her husband out anyway so how beautiful is this church well first of all we'll start where the font is and we'll crack on and we'll take a wonderful look around this absolutely stunning gorgeous church and it's a big one as well so just give us a second and I'll bring you straight back all right brought you straight back well yeah we come once before and honestly it's absolutely stunning in this church and I mean that and it's absolutely huge now there's no service on which is pretty good in one way because that way then well you know we're not disturbing anybody and the door i like the door how you've got to like come through the middle of it it's just so different that's what i like about this church when we first came across this place we went to look at the windmill now the windmill obviously it's further around the corner but we're not going to walk around there um and the simple reason why is not just because of the rain it's simply because it's a good five or ten minute walk and we're going to end up getting more wet through. Now, the windmill itself does not have a top on it. Uh, they actually call it the cap. And, of course, the sails are still attached to the cap and the cap is on the floor. Now, the windmill also has a cafe as well, but the windmill is now closed down altogether, so that means that the cap is also closed, which is a really big shame. Uh, it's got a children's play area as well in there. But like I said, it's one of them things. Um, I don't know if the windmill is going to be put back together. I've got no idea on that respect. I haven't looked to see if there's been any work because we did not come in from that way here into Alford. We came off the main Skegness Road. And just to point out as well uh, to anybody that is going to be travelling through Burwell, the uh, poles are up for the new gantry cameras. The cameras are not on, they're not attached at the moment, but the poles are there, ready to have the cameras attached to them. Now, how long that's going to be, uh, as any, man, any man's guess, because, you know, you just got to remember, you could be uh, driving down to Burwell, one minute, no gantry cameras on, and then the next minute, bang, they're there facing you. <coughs> So, I just thought I'd quickly point that out for anybody who is going to be travelling um, through the Burwell area. I just thought I'd, you know, mention that. Oh, what's this then? I can't remember everything uh, from last time when we come. But anyway, here life the body of Robert Christopher K.N., who finished his life on the 16th of February 1668, in the 63 years of his age, and of Dame Elizabeth and his wife, who died on the 21st day of November 1967, in the 50 years of her age.
and here's the statues. They're actually brilliant, to be honest. They're really nice to take a look at. I'll lift the camera up. It's nice to see things like this in churches. It really is. Because they're so unusual and so different. Well, this is a really grand church. It really is. And it's absolutely grand. Alford itself, it's an old historical town. And there is a lot of stuff to see in Alford. The weather's letting it down, as we know that, because apparently today it's supposed to be some type of storm. But, I mean, come on, don't we get sick and tired of storms? You know, storm, storm this, storm that, storm other. You know, and it's like, ugh, come on now. I think the weather needs to start picking up. We need some sunshine. We do. We need some lovely, gorgeous sunshine to make it worth its while throughout the summer. But as somebody said the other day, we really don't think we're going to get a proper summer this year. Shame like, but, you know, we do, we do, and if we don't, we don't, but... And some parts of the Lincolnshire uh, roads coming up towards Skegness, they're half flooded out on some parts of the roads. So if you are travelling that way today, please be careful. There is a lot of standing water already. I like the little statues just up there, what runs across. You might not be able to see them properly, simply because of the lights, but... And there's some on to my left. Really beautiful. Well, this church, it, it's gorgeous. It really is. I do like to see a really good church what is well looked after and still in service It's like a little vestry, I believe it is. Let's take a quick look, is it? Was like a little cupboard? Oh, I don't know where this goes to, but I'll just take a quick look. No, oh, it leads to a, a little door. Maybe it could take you up towards a bell tower, don't know. These steps, I noticed these last time actually. Little steps there, they go up. And then they stop. Hmm, different. That's the thing about churches. Every church is different. And it's really, really nice that they are. We'll take a quick walk on the outside. Take a quick look around as well. So we can show the church for what the church is. But it is beautiful. Was that candle already lit? No. Oh, make sure you... Hey? Which one? That one in front of you. Well, what, it was already lit? Yeah. Oh, right. It's oh, it's got one of them like sand bucket things again. Mm -hmm. Alright. Proper little carvings, though. They're beautiful. Really are beautiful carvings.
Yeah, it's going to be a little bit windy when we get outside, get, uh, everybody. Be all right. Now we're going to head off. Yeah, I know. It's like one of the other ones that come across in a, a different church. <laughs> Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Hey? Wind's picked up. What do you say? The wind's picked up. Oh, I know. Them steps don't go nowhere. They don't. They don't exactly go anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, so the door on the way in, it's just so, so different. Because, I mean, you've got your big main door, but then you've got to climb through the little door. I mean, look at that. How different that is. Okay. So, obviously, it doesn't stay open unless you keep it open. Well, that's fine. Right, so I'm going to head out, I'm going to take a bit of a walk around the church itself. Now last time there was a big horse uh, which was just there. walk around I'm gonna head into the town that's if my camera doesn't crash I'm hoping not definitely hoping not but it is a nice place Alfred it really is And you can see how the path goes all the way around the church as well. And then just where Keeley is, there's like a Methodist church. Um, it's got a date and that on it as well, but I can't remember what the date was. But anyway, we're going to go around the church and then we'll head into the town.
Yeah, so the pack is all the way around. It's absolutely wonderful. It really is. I know this wind is absolutely mad. The wind has just gone crazy. Absolutely stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's good I can walk all the way around though. It really is. It's brilliant. Collectors. Oh, didn't see that last time I was here. So we'll have a walk to where the town is. So if you've never been to Alford before, then at least you'll you'll know what it looks like. I mean, it's not a really big town, it really isn't. I mean, just over there where the bus stop is, you've got public toilets to your left hand side as well. And if you follow that road around, it'll take you all the way back, back around in a great big circle. But for what this place is, I mean, like I said, it's not the biggest place, but Keely, I'm just going over here. So you got the uh, handyman DIY, kitchen housewares, there's a plaque on here so I'm just going to go and grab this plaque while Keely's just there.
Foreign exchange. <laughs> Bit different, isn't it? Yeah, you can see how. Well, I mean, you can see it's not really that big, is it? Not the actual town itself. But I mean, you've still got, you know, plenty of shops and stuff. Is it worth visiting? Yeah, I do believe it is. Absolutely, I do believe. I mean, this is the windmill hotel, heated, uh, beer garden. I can't remember what is down there, just cannot remember uh, from last time. But anyway, you can actually go down there and just uh, walk around. And then there's just another plaque of some kind just over here. I was quickly going to take a look at. And here's the other one that we noticed last time when we come. But, yeah, so really, what you're seeing, this is literally in the town centre. But it's still nice, I mean, you've got parking. I should imagine they'll have a market on at some point. Uh, just at that top there, I don't know if anybody can just see it, just up there. I don't know if I can just quickly zoom into it. Um, it says MDCCCVL. But it does say corn exchange on that anyway. And then you've got this like a little seating area as well. Hey? Oh, that one up there? Yeah, I don't know if I can zoom into it, but we'll try. Yeah, what Keely's pointing out is uh, the Capital and Counties Bank Limited. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. I'll just see if I can. So you might be able to see that. But it is raining as well, so. Yeah, it's uh, this weather is just absolutely chuffing ridiculous. And we'll just quickly spin the camera to where Keely is. And this is also another shot. We'll just quickly come to the board as well, because this will give you a rough idea if you've never been here. At least, well, you've got that, haven't you? And it'll show you the streets and that. Which is brilliant. There is some stuff just uh, further up here as well. Oh, someone's uh, had a smashing time. If anybody can see that, that looks a bit uh, doody. Different. Yes, but just on the corner, just on the corner there, it actually does say bank. Different. Very, very different. And um, in Alford as well, there is uh, some old thatched roof properties that we did see before. Now, I mean, you've got shops and that just over that side of the road, and we'll just show you some of these as well. Wishing well, stationery, confectionery, and then we noticed this as well. Yeah, we did notice this. Got a tap on it. No drinking water. <laughs> well, that's what it says anyway. And then you just come round to this side as well. And then it's got 1897 Diamond Jubilee on it. Just there. How stunning. craft center so yeah so you have got um, a good few bits here because you know you've got shops over that side you've got shops further down there if you walk down there that will take you back round back more or less into where we are stood and then it's old bike as well right was there I can't remember what was on here. Oh, the Jubilee Fountain. That's what it was. 
just there. But yeah, it's not the biggest place in the world, Holford, but it is still a lovely town. It really is. Still a, a lovely town to come and visit here in Lincolnshire. So what we'll do, we'll walk back round this way, back towards, oh, <laughs> might as well grab this Keely spot on it. And then you've got Candle House Lane. Right, wait a minute Keely, wait. Quick. That's it, it is a bad bend. Oh, what's these then? <laughs> oh, this is good, isn't it? Home cooked meats, pork, ham, beef, hazelnut. That's really different, that. Look at that. That is brilliant. Wow. Ooh. And what's there then? A pig? Is that a pig or something? Yeah, you've got a, a pig and a sheep. And then you've got the coin uh, collector's centre just over the road as well. So yeah, there's the Cotton Collectors Centre. Oh, wait a minute, Keely. Keely. Just hang on, I'll back in a minute. I didn't see that. I didn't see just down here, there's a laundrette. Um, down this like little sidewalk. Never saw this last time we come. Really didn't. Yeah, then you got a laundrette there. Hole in the wall. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just have a quick look, and then I'll get back up there. Then. Uh, wow. Yeah. Brilliant. And then if we just look back back on the floor again. Like I said, we did not see this last time. Hole in the wall. Wow. And there's the laundrette just there. Brilliant. Different. Yeah, very nice. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so like I said, never saw that last time. Good to see though. So I said about these bends here, look. Right, so we're gonna walk uh, round to where the, it's like a Methodist church and there's a, a date um, on it as well. Back round at the back of the church, and I'm going to go to the Methodist church, which is literally because uh, we're parked, well, we're literally parked around the back of it in the uh, car park. So I'm going to go around to the front. It's so, right. I'll unlock the car for you, Keith. Hey? Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way around, so. Which? That's the Queen's what? Oh, it's Queen's Black Jubilee. Right. <laughs> right, so it's gonna head just round to there.
community co-op yeah so the plaques is just here to my left at St Wilfrid's Church Hall now last time we come we actually parked in there and the lady said it was absolutely uh, a-okay it's all right brilliant so that's both the plaques i think there's another one somewhere but we don't know where the other one is we just kind of remember yeah, I just can't remember where the other one is, but not to worry, not to worry. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly come over here, spin the camera around and quickly show you. So right, we're going to wrap this video up. So it's a big thumbs up from me, it's a big thumbs up from Keeley. And we will uh, definitely see you on the next one, hopefully. But we just thought we'd get out today, pop somewhere different. But we, uh, we was looking for something else, but not to worry. So right, we'll wrap it up facing the church, but we'll just quickly show you what Keeley was on about. This um, Queen's Jubilee plaque, so I'll just quickly show that as well. And there it is. Brilliant. Yeah, stunning church inside, absolutely gorgeous as well on the outside. It's beautiful. It is, it's really nice. And it is big inside, obviously. So, right, we're going to wrap it up and get off. I tell you, this wind is absolutely stupid. I swear to God. Mental wind again. Mental weather. Right, bye for now. See you on the next one.